Okay, hi everyone. This is a bunch of um, kabocha. Uh, my nails are going bad. I, I just got it done, but I've been washing dishes and, you know, it's coming off. So, excuse my nasty fingernails. <laughs> it was nicer last Sunday. <laughs> but, um, I did it myself too. But let's get back to here. These are papaya seeds, which they, it looks like caviar from afar, see? But it's really papaya seeds and plenty of it. If you calculate how, how many papaya one seed can multiply into, let's say I'm saving about $5 per, for half of a papaya, so ten dollar I'm saving in my pocket for one papaya so um, say ten one papaya plant would have ten so I'm saving a hundred dollar about a hundred dollar in my pocket per seed per plant in my later future if I if it's successful which I have Right here, a lot of papaya seeds. Maybe, let's see, let's say that's two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Maybe 200 seeds right there. And maybe another two to 300 seeds over here. And then look at all these kabocha. All you can eat kabocha. Once it grows, one seed would be maybe five kabocha pumpkin. And then if you calculate it, I'm saving a lot of money on kabocha seed. So, uh, kabocha pumpkin. So one kabocha pumpkin is like five, six, seven dollars or something. So, if you multiply 5 times 7, let's say about $5 for a pumpkin, or $7, 5 to $7 a pumpkin, let's say, let's say $7 per pumpkin, uh, kabocha pumpkin. So, 7 times 5 pumpkin on a vine, so, um, that's 35 $35. About $35 I'm saving in my account and pocket for a rainy day so I don't have to spend money buying kapocha, but I'm um, saving money so I don't have to spend no money. And if you calculate that, I'm a rich girl <laughs> with all these kapocha seeds. It's like all I can eat for the rest of my life. I don't want. Oh, I need to. I only need to collect like total five kabocha pumpkin, and I have plenty of kabocha to eat for the rest of my life, and to even share with my children. So that's more than enough pump kabocha pumpkin to even eat for a whole lifetime. You know, five to ten kabocha pumpkin if I'm collecting the seeds from it. That's a lot of money I'm saving, and I can feed my children and feed my guests or feed the villagers and whoever loves to eat kabocha pumpkin is like better than nothing to eat at all being blessed so if you think smart you know uh work work what is it think smarter but not work harder so that is um a lot i'm i'm a rich girl in seeds but you know the moving, I'm traveling, I say from state to state, I don't need to collect it right now, and then I can just donate all these um, to somebody else, and then um, when I travel to another state, there'll be kabocha pumpkins and, you know, cantaloupe, so I don't have to travel, uh, bring it from state to state, I can just go to another state and they already have it there already, so... It'll save me less weight and not to get in trouble or whatever. So, you know, save me more time. So I'll just, you know, I just like to collect it, but, you know, I don't have land yet. 
and I don't have the money yet to own land to, you know, start growing. But all of my hard work, at least I'm showing proof to somebody that I got things done. But I just want to rub it in their face so that they know that I did get something done and no, I did it, and this is proof I'm not lazy and I'm not a dishonest person. But when I move out of state, all of these will um, stay here in Florida and, um, you know, donate it to somebody else. But when I go out of state, I'll start to wherever I, I have land, then I'll start working on my land and start growing there. And they have a Walmart or Home Depot there so I can collect the seeds from over there so I don't have to carry all this and travel with me so they have plenty of seeds everywhere you just gotta know where to find it and where to look for it and when to when it's in season so hopefully they'll have good food in Arkansas because I know in Alaska you can't grow anything much so but thank you for joining me and this is proof of success because I am successful and I'm not lazy and I'm not crazy <laughs> um, or I'm not mentally old, but I have plenty of food and plenty of seeds, um, but I need my own house. I need my own land. I want to build my own home all by myself. I don't need nobody help to um, build my home or my cabin and then I want to grow my own food. I don't want nobody to help me grow my own food. I don't like for people to tell me what to do or what I can do and what I can't do. I'm my own boss and I love to be my own boss, be independent, be self-sufficient and I don't like to be bothered by nagging, bitching, harassing, mocking, stupidity, you know. I'm not doing nothing wrong. Leave me alone. Do not bother me. Do not stalk me. Do not sexually harass me. And do not touch me inappropriately sexually anywhere. Don't violate me. Don't sexually harass me.